Now the Xbox app is out of beta, I thought I'd do a video showing you how to download and install it for your Windows 10 PC or laptop. We will also take a look around the app. If you're unsure what the Xbox app does, it allows you to explore, purchase and launch PC games. If you have the Xbox Game Pass, it allows you access to over 100 PC games with the pass. And also you can chat with friends, via voice chat or even messaging. The first thing you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to go ahead and press download the app and you then need to go ahead and press save file. Once the file has finished downloading, you then need to run this setup file. You will now have a window that looks like this. You need to agree to the terms. If you do agree, go ahead and tick the box I have read and accept the terms and then click install. The Xbox app will now begin to install to your Windows 10 PC or laptop. Once the install has finished, go ahead and launch the Xbox app and you will then end up with a window that looks like this. Straight away, this is the Game Pass section. At the top here, you have Game Pass, Social and Store. If I scroll down, you can see a massive list of all the games that are available if you currently have the Game Pass for PC. There are a lot of fantastic games you can choose from. I mean straight away Forza Horizon 4, that is an amazing game. If you haven't played it yet, I highly recommend it. And also, I'm not sure if you know, but there is now the EA Play Pass as well, which is available if you have Game Pass. And if I click see games, there are lots of games on here as well. You can see it's got all the battlefields, it's got Need for Speed, it's got Star Wars Battlefront. There's just a massive selection of games. If I scroll back to the top and then click onto social, this is where you will be able to chat with your friends, add friends, join friends games and stuff like that. If you then go across to the store, you will then be able to purchase games as well. And there are always massive discounts of games as well through this Xbox app. So I highly do recommend you take a little look around and see if one of the games that you really want to play, if they're not on the Game Pass, then see if it's cheaper to purchase it through the Xbox Store. On the left hand side here, you will have your collection if you click on that. This is where you will be able to see the games that you currently have installed on your PC or laptop and you will then be able to launch the games. Also on the left hand side, you have another button which you can then change the list. So basically below here will be a list of a couple of games that are on your PC and you can just alternate between the installed games, the games that are currently downloading and the games that need attention. Say if the install's gone wrong or the game's not slightly finished downloading and it needs you to confirm something. On the right hand side you can see you can search for games so instead of having to go through your massive library you can just go ahead and type Need for Speed and it will come up with the game. You then have notifications so you will have a massive list here of all the latest notifications that you haven't read. And then in the top right hand corner you will have your profile and you can then go ahead and click on settings and you can change a few of the Xbox app settings in general. As you can see, it's currently set to automatically launch with Windows. You can choose if you do want this program to launch with Windows. If not, then go ahead and untick this option. Below you have the location where the games are currently going to install to. As you can see, mine are going to install to my C drive. But if I want to change this, I can go ahead and click on the drop down and I can select a different hard drive. If I scroll down slightly more, let's just change that back to C, there we go. If we scroll down slightly more, you then also have a few more options down here as well. On the left hand side, you can choose which notifications you would like to receive. Because I'm not currently signed in, I cannot see that. Also, we have Game Pass on mobile and then you also have your audio settings. But you do need to be signed in to adjust those as well. So this would be if you're in a voice chat with a couple of your Xbox friends or people that are using the Xbox app on their PC. If we close this down and click onto this profile logo again, you can see you can sign in here. So you can go ahead and sign into your Xbox or Microsoft account. And we also have your wish list and then games I own. 
which you can select on the left hand side like I said. And that is basically it for the Xbox app. It's a very good program and if you do have the Xbox Game Pass then it really is fantastic. Like I said at the start there are just so many games you can choose from. I hope this tutorial did help you out and you liked this video. If you did hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.